Look, I'm a doctor. I know what I would have been if I wasn't a doctor. I would be an investigator or like a detective. Now I'm also leaning towards like a teacher or something in psychology, marketing. My head's a mess. And I know now during COVID-19, many of you are finding yourselves out of work. So I decided to try and find like a legit career test to help you figure out what career you could possibly be interested in. I did a personality test the other day and that wasn't accurate. Let's see if these are any better. Indicate your interest level. Build kitchen cabinets. No, I prefer to eat out of them. Develop new medicine, I'll just put like. Write book or plays, no, nah, I don't like writing. Help people with personal or emotional problems. If someone's sad, it's not that I necessarily wanna cheer them up, I wanna help them solve the problem. Manage a department within a large company, no, nah, I don't like that. Corporate structure is not appealing to me. I like smaller businesses, ones where you could be a disruptor. When you're in a corporate environment, you have to go through all these like bureaucr bureaucratic, <laughs> Install software across computers on a large network. This test might as well be like, do you want to be in IT? No, I mean, I don't like that. Repair household appliances. I actually like that a lot, like a lot. Study ways to reduce water pollution. I guess I could be interested in that. Compose or arrange music. I have no creativity in my body. So if you ask me to draw you something, compose you something, it's gonna come out looking like the trap version of the happy birthday song. Give career guidance to people. Actually, I wouldn't mind that, I like that. Operate a calculator. <laughs> Why are they acting like a calculator is a piece of heavy machinery? Uh, pull in that T84. We need to get the integrals shipped in. Can I operate one? Do I like it? I'm unsure. Assemble electronic parts. I kind of like that. I've always been gadgety. I think when I was younger, when we came to America, my dad would always force me to set up all the new gadgets, so I learned how to do it. A lot of people are like, Mike, you're so smart, you can do it. No, there's instructions to everything. Just read the instructions. Conduct chemical experiments. I like that. Create special effects for movies. I mean, these are literally just questions about jobs. Is that like Adobe After Effects or whatever? Or is it like special effects like the cool fog smoke? Perform rehabilitation therapy. I like that. Keep shipping and receiving records. Ugh, ugh. Drive a truck to deliver packages to offices. Just ask if I wanna work for UPS. No, I prefer not to do that. Examine blood samples using a microscope. I guess I kinda like that. We still even do that sometimes. If someone comes in with a gynecological problem and we need to diagnose it, we use a put a smear on the microscope slide and we actually examine under a microscope. I guess we would look at blood samples if we were looking for like a culture, gram stain, something like that. I haven't done that in a while now. Labs have gotten so sophisticated. Do volunteer work at a nonprofit. Yeah, I love that. Make, market a new line of clothing. That kind of fun. By the way, do you want some scrubs? I'm putting a link down below for people who want merch because the merch has sold out. The scrubs have sold out. Everything's missing. Bet you didn't even know it was for sale. I'm putting an email list together. Hop on in. Inventory supplies using a handheld computer. Pfft. Handheld computer, not for me. If it was inventory supplies using a table held computer, that I would do. Develop a better way to predict the weather. Dude, we need that. Meteorologist, what are you doing? The other day I came outside, you said it was raining. I'm like, guy, I'm outside, it's not raining. What does that even entail? Does that mean like making satellites? Flying a weather balloon? I'd fly a weather balloon. David Blaine just flew a balloon. He was probably doing it to develop a better way to protect weather. Oh, you think he was doing it because of this test? Teach a high school class, I'm so game. My best career match is an acupuncturist. My outlook is bright. I could make $36.37. I could also be an acute care nurse. Everything here is in the health profession. I mean, they clearly got me right. Athletic trainer, audiologist, acupuncturist. I would do all of these jobs. Family medicine practitioners. Many physicians choose to specialize in a particular patient group or area of the body. I don't. I like to look at humans as a whole, whether they're male, female, old, young, something in between. I want to help all humans. But family and general practitioners work with patients of all ages. Why in the world is this doctor listening to the patient's heart through their clothing? We don't do that. Skin contact with the stethoscope, por favor. From delivering babies and providing checkups for school age kids. That's fake too. This doctor is not even putting the otoscope in the child's ear. Get yourself a primary care doctor. It'll go a long way. You may not be sick now, but something could happen and you don't have someone who's in charge of your health. That can lead to fragmented care, thereby increasing the chances of medical mistakes, getting treatments that you don't want or aren't a good fit for you. It's just so much better to have a doctor that you trust taking care of you. Interested to see my right. Sec 
Results. Oh, yeah, that stands for stuff. Realistic, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, conventional. I think I'm anything but conventional. My highest is social. Social people like to work with people to inspire, inform, help, train, or cure them. It's what we're doing right now. We like to be patient, insightful, responsible, cooperative, outgoing, and skilled with words. Yo, my wordplay be off the hook, B. Like to work in groups, volunteer, solve personal problems, and serve my community. Able to teach others, mediate disputes, lead a discussion, communicate well, or plan and supervise activity. I will say that is accurate. Let's see what my second was. Investigative. Investigative people like to observe, learn, investigate, analyze. Investigative people like to investigate. I wanna do like one of those back in the day Cosmo quizzes where it's like, your, what your bubblegum taste says about you. Buzzfeed, this 25 question aptitude test is scientifically proven to reveal what job you should really have. And there's a Grey's Anatomy character on here, so you know it's legit. All right, rate your interest in the following subjects. Art, music, not very interested. Business entrepreneurship, very interested. Education and law, very interested. In fact, I've been sued before. Science and technology, very interested. Travel and hospitality. I like traveling, but hospitality? I'll say neutral. Rate how much you agree or disagree with the following statements. This is what I'm looking for. I love working with numbers and data. Not really. I want to change the world and help others. A thousand percent agree. We need to do more of that. I want to be a leader and supervise others. Agree. I'd rather be working with my hands than sitting at a desk. Oh, you could change how much you agree. Money is more important to me than the actual work. No, I strongly disagree. Rate your interests. Food and agriculture. Uh, I'm not that interested. Animals and the environment. I like animals. Nonprofits. And I was going to say an alcoholics. Nonprofits and politics. Neutral. Psychology and marketing. Very interested in that. In in fact, I always say detective is like my backup job, but I think it might be something in marketing or psychology. Technology and media, fairly interested. Rate how much these traits align with your personality and work ethic. Creative, mm -hmm. lower. Passionate, hot. Who's gonna say passionate low? The passionate? Pfft. Not me. Assertive. I'm fairly assertive. Thoughtful. I want to know what antisocial personality person is going to come in here and be like, mm, thoughtful? I try not to have those. Strategic. Very. Rate how important these values are to you. Growth. My favorite. Independence. Ooh. I think the fact that on this YouTube channel, I don't have to answer to a network, to sponsors that I don't believe in. We're doing something without someone overseeing us. Makes me feel like we can affect fate. Relationships. What about relationships? Relationships are cool. Recognition from others, not that important. Work-life balance. You wanna live a good life. You don't wanna just work to live, but if you're passionate about your work and you're doing it and like it's part of your life, that's fine too. You got, you should be a teacher or professor. Other recommendations based on your quiz data? Therapist, archeologist, paleontologist like Ross, historian, librarian, or children's book author. Should I write a children's pee whoop novel? I feel like this BuzzFeed test is kind of legit. It tries to be cool. It's like, oh, we'll tell you what Grey's Anatomy character you are. By the way, is there a quiz like that that you guys are aware of, of like which Grey's Anatomy character you are? Cause I want to take it and find out who I really am. Who do you think I am? Comment down below. Clearly the legit one actually knew who I was. Cause they were like, here are some science jobs for you. While the other one was like, Archaeologist? Don't know about BuzzFeed. Anyway, check out me doing a personality test. See how accurate or inaccurate that bad boy was. And if you want to see an interview with a plastic surgeon talking about the myths of plastic surgery, click here for my interview with Dr. Yoon. As always, stay happy and healthy. Which one are you clicking on?